problem because as I'm building the bike, I did a dry run setting up the uh, assembling the components. Now, as I assemble the components, everything seemed to check out okay. But once I got them on, once I got all of the components onto the bike, I realized I was having a problem. Whenever I shift the front derailleur, the rear derailleur would automatically go from whatever gear it's in all the way down to the 11 tooth cog or 11 tooth cassette rather. And it just kept happening. I have no idea why it was happening. Um, so I jumped online and started looking up and I went to one of the DI2 resources, uh, Better Shifting, and a guy, Terry, immediately um, reached back out to me after I sent him an email. Uh, he was a little bewildered, thought it was strange also. Um, I let him know how I set my um, system up that I was trying to go fully wired, that I ran a wire from the DI2 battery to the shift levers. And him, just like me, was under the impression that that would work. Um, well, the hydraulic levers only have two ports on each lever. One port, the top port, is for the E-tube. The bottom port is for the satellite um, sprint shifters. Now, if you plug the uh, battery or the, uh, the, the E-tube into that satellite shifter port, you're going to have a problem because that's what I did. For the time being, I'm not going to be able to go fully wired. Um, the way I'm going now is semi-wireless and I ordered the junction box already. So once that comes, I'm going to use the junction box to connect to the brake wire. I'm sorry, to connect to the battery line. And then from the battery E-tube, I'm going to break out from there to the left and the right shift levers. That solves the problem.